Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. Uh, hello again everyone and welcome back, day 18 here on the third season of One Hour Limit Locked. We've got a busy day ahead of us today. It's been so much fun recently, we've been absolutely smoking through all of our goals and it's beautiful, it really is. Right, we're going to go back to the tree, it's quicker. Clear up this birdhouse run real quick. And then we'll pop over to the lighthouse to get our book of war finished up. And then we'll be doing our herb run. But the end of our herb run is going to be a little different from usual. Just a little bit. Quite a lot. I may actually just pop back over to miscellanea at some point as well. Put a little bit more cash in the coffers. Top it up and claim our extra herbs. Because we want to get a few herb law levels before we go back to near Portsley. Oh gosh, what's the lighthouse? ALP. Man like Jossic. Not what the fuck. There's some random shit in there at the minute. Let's get ourselves a bandos book. Can we do that? No. Oh, we have to take that to the GE to get the pages out. Okay. Or is it just any banker? It's probably any banker. We can do that after herbs. Okay. Start off in Fortis, I guess. Oh, I didn't reset. I should definitely reset. Try that again. Need compost. Get that lovely, lovely herb lore XP from cleaning our herbs. Oh, it's looking like another 6 out of 6, dear. Very nice indeed. Very nice. All done there. Even with the lighthouse trip, we managed to get that done in a pretty decent time. So, I'm now going to run over here. What? Where is she going? What is she doing? Go to this bank, that's what I'm doing. Dumbass. So we got about 330k in Renar weeds there. I'ma say, fuck that, it's not good enough. And I'm gonna get myself 14 vials and 14 Renar weeds, and then I'm gonna run up here, and I think you can see where this is going at this point. Also, it's really nice that these hobgoblins aren't aggroed me, because I thought they would be. I just assumed we'd be a low enough level that they'd aggro me, but that's actually sick. Let me change my left click to walk here so I don't accidentally attack one when I'm trying to pick up grass. Full invent, we'll just make the potions. I think we can probably do better than just combine all those into four doses and then we have a few more invent spaces. Pick up more snake grass. Prayer puts going for 11k each at the minute. But three dose would be about eight gear. We don't make very much profit at all on this, but we do get some nice herbal or XP along the way without losing money. We, we make like 90 GP a potion or something. It's it's really nothing. But I guess collecting the snape grass ourselves, we would make more. So there's that. Right, why don't we do that again? Why did I get 10? That was our last energy restore on the ring. Do need to actually start mixing these though. I wonder if I made them one at a time, if that would be better to save me from the window. Nah, it's not. Definitely not. And there is 43 herb lore coming in. Oh, we don't have any teleports on us, that is a shame. It would have been so good if we had teleport. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Should have just brought glory or a wolf on that last run. Well, we've got enough snake grass to make the rest of our prayer potions now. So, let's just whack those out. Okay, we are all done with our farming run now. I'm gonna hop over to the GE and we are gonna sell what we just got. I'm gonna withdraw all my prayer potions because I don't really need them, so who cares. We may as well keep the snake grass for tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna decant these into four doses. I guess I'll just keep the three dose. So we got 38 prayer pots there, that's 400k, not bad. When they sell, 
Okay, we've already got our Renar Seed for tomorrow. Right, what do we want here? Combat Potions, 114. That means we want 114. Paralander. And the same go Horn Dust. Because I just want to save time right now. Excellent, let's make ourselves some more potions, lads. Ladies, non-binary pals. All of the people. So many people. All right, when we finish making these, we will have the level for super attacks, which will upgrade our moonlight potion to include super attacks, thus making our accuracy substantially better against the things that we are spending most of our time slapping in the face. I also do need to just unpackage my set of god pages and put them into the book, and also get a dragon dagger, because I forgot to do that yesterday. Not going to get a poison one at the minute, because that will just eat into our XP. It will basically just steal XP from us on the Sulfur Nagua. We will poison it eventually, but yeah, not right now. We're not trying to kill the Nagua fast, we're just trying to get maximum XP out of them, so... This is going to cost us money, by the way, what I'm doing right now, the combat potions. We lose money on every single one of these. But it only costs about 120k, I think, so it's not too bad. And there is the 44 herb law. We got the next level coming. A couple minutes, probably. And then it's time to try and kill the Moons of Peril, y'all. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it with these stats. I really don't. We're probably going to be chomping on food like a motherfucker. But I'm excited to see how it goes, I am. We're geared well, even if we're not started well. I feel like we're just going to get hit a lot. We may get clawed and just die. If it goes badly though, that's okay. If it goes so badly that I don't think there's any point making another attempt right now, that's okay too. I can always go and work on my defense level some more, get those up a little bit higher before trying again. Fingers crossed, we don't have any problems. And there we are, 45 Herb Law. Look at that. Okay, gonna go sets. Oh my gosh, let me click. Oh, you click it here. Thank you very much. We now have a Book of War, plus two melee strength bonus, plus five prayer. I actually thought it was uh, plus three melee strength bonus, but you will. We never need these again, because we're in near post line. May as well sell them for whatever pitiful money we can get. Okay, I think it is time to gear up for Perilous Moons. I don't really need a Slayer tab anymore, do I? But I can morph this into my melee tab, maybe? I think we're pretty good to go. Oh, we do just need teleports to get there, though. So we'll grab those and put them away once we get to near Portsley. Let's just get a fucking full Inventor Vials minus four to give me room to get some uh, dust. Oh, no, wait, because we're going to need... We're gonna need food too. This isn't just a training session. This is perilous moons, so we're gonna need food. So not all these vials. I don't know how effective the food is actually gonna be for us as well, because our levels are great. Although our cooking level's decent. Okay, put that away. Put ten plus another five plus another one. That'll be plenty. I'm just gonna take a single stamina dose to get me in there. Right, let's get these. Do I not have inventory tag on? That's mad. Have I gone this long on the account without having inventory tags? I'm a noob. Noobs always have inventory tags. Okay, where are we gonna prepare? I guess we'll start up here. I don't think it matters which order you do them in, so... Right, so we want this to be a lovely shade of pink for our specs. We're gonna just go ahead and make a copper, and then we can do the rest of these. This slash wants to be a lovely shade of orange. Stab, we will go ahead and put that's red. And then we just got Crush, which would be more of a yellowy. Excellent. Right. Get fishing supplies, get herbal supplies, get grubbies. I mean, we almost got <laughs> four full potions. Okay, that'll do. I can just drink that one before I go. I fucking hate this mini game. I'm terrible at it. I don't know whether it's better for us to get fish or not. I probably should have looked up whether lizards or fish are better at our levels, but I didn't. So here we are. Gonna set my quick prayers with no Primelli on because it is irrelevant, but we can put our steel skin on because that isn't irrelevant. We start off with our DDS here and then we'll be switching over to the Dragon Sword. I'll just get one or two perks in with this first. Yes, and don't ask me again. Oh, does this one always have the cutscene? I just assumed it was whichever one you did last. Oh, 
start in the middle. That was not fair. I haven't even checked the weapon styles, so... Just kind of hoping the set. Good. Well, that is on stab. Whoa! It's got fucking one tapped! Okay, I'll tag this thing. We want it with its tiles, though, really. Okay, okay, we're doing okay. It's slow, but we're getting there. Hey, does this have a spec? I don't even know this has a spec. Hmm, increased accuracy and damage. We actually love this phase because it's just free DPS. As long as you don't fuck up. Look at all that free damage. Probably should be specking more, to be honest, just because of how long these fights are going. God, the Blood Moon is going to be a pain, let me tell you. <laughs> I've just realised how bad the Blood Moon is going to be. Oh, no. I'm not looking forward to... Oh, no! <laughs> okay, folks. That was rough. That was real rough. We would get slaps a lot there. <laughs> That was very rough. Oh, I can't figure out if I want to try again at all. Is there anything we could do to improve our odds? We could bring actual food in, we could uh, hit harder, we could play better. So no. Right, I think I'm just going to go back to training, y'all. I think I'm going to spend the rest of the day training defense at the Naguas. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. We'll go from there. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was, that was rough, but we're not far off. I just don't want to waste my time, like, bashing my head against it. If it's going to be that, like, slow, there's a lot more chance for me to fuck up, which means, you know, I think our defense needs to be higher. I think all our stats need to be higher. <laughs> but we're only trying to get one KC. We're not trying to get consistent KC. So really, I just want my defense to be up there a little. So we have a bit more chance of not getting slapped by just the auto attacks. Because the auto attacks can dish out some damage. I'm going to run out of energy. Uh, I hate my life. I think, I think just by having the extra defense levels alone, that would be helpful. But also the fact that we'd be able to wear dragon armor. Like, that would not be nothing. I can't be asked to try and figure out what the sizes these are. So I'm just combining them all with the one next to them until... We get somewhere. Right, that will have to do. Let's get ourselves some defense XP. Hopefully we can get a level or two. I don't know. We've not got too much of the day left now. We did spend a while doing that herb lore as well, though. It's not all just on that run. We were super close. Maybe I should just be trying again. Because we were so close, that's why I feel like we just need a tiny little bit more of an edge. Oh no, someone's already there. Okay, we'll start here. Oh, I've got the empty room pouch, don't I? Won't be too major. We don't really need a great deal of invent space here. <laughs> well, we're apparently getting over 100k an hour. Seems perfectly reasonable and balanced. I think I am just going to go and hop and go back to that other room because it's a bit more tightly packed. The thing that annoys me about these potions is that you can't see how many doses they've got left in them. Don't know why, but for some reason, rune light just... Wait, did that guy leave? Oh, I think he did. That's fine. I'll pick up all this random loot. Oh, I forgot I have my DDS with me as well now. Which means we can throw out some nasty specs. Which also get plus four to each hit spot. Isn't that lovely? We could just use those on cooldown pretty much. Wait, that was a max hit 24 on one of the hits. Which means our max hit with a DDS right now is 48 against these guys. Holy shit. That is an actual number. Okay, it seems to have settled down to about 80k. Though there was a bit of a run around here, so... It may go slightly bit up from that. Oh, we suck how to use the essence, can we? It's a shame. It's gonna take like a thousand potions to get up to 55 herb law. I just... That's gonna take so long. Like, is it actually gonna be worth it for the buff? Probably, but like... Do I want to spend a full day just making fucking potions? Might even take longer than that. Oh, I guess the specs are on attack right now. Let me swap that over. Should be due a defense level in about five or six minutes. I don't know if we'll get another one today after that. We do still have Olaf's quest to do, though. 
uh, an extra 12k defense bonus. We are a single log away, I think, from the woodcutting level requirement for that. So we could get it very easily at Miscellanea, just topping up. And there are a couple of quests I could do for Herb Law, but the thing is, we need so much XP. Like, I can get a quest for 11k Herb Law XP and a quest for 8k Herb Law XP, but we'd still only be on like 80k, we'd be halfway there to our goal. It barely put a dint in it for two quests, which might take like, I don't know, a session and a half to get them both done. Edgar's Ruse and Land of the Goblins. Could do my arms big adventure as well after that, but I think that has other requirements and it's an absolute pain of a quest. Like the exact quests that I ever want to do, you know what I mean? They're not fun quests. I'm in a weird spot with this Herblar, I just can't figure out. Cause like it's definitely worth it to have the super strength bonus rather than the super attack, but get in there efficiently. Rather than the regular strength even, not rather than the super attack. Might be doing another hit points level as we well here actually, which is nice. They're coming very few and far between. Yeah, doing both those quests would only save me like not even 140 potions out of a thousand. So they would barely be worth the time. The Land of the Goblins would be more worth it because it gives us agility and thieving and fishing XP as well. Uh, and it's less of a pain out of the two. I don't mind Land of the Goblins that much. Edgar's Ruse is a bitch though. Ooh, I think we just hit like a 43 or something. I'll have to zoom in on the edit. That was a big DDS spec there. I only saw it out of the corner of my eye. Well, there's 58 defense. It'd probably help if I brought super defense as well, actually, to the Moons of Peril now I think about it. Because we don't have the super defense buff from the Moonlight Potion either. That's 66, which is fucking miles away. We're definitely never getting there. But that might give us more of a chance of not getting absolutely clattered by auto attacks. These guys lost aggro? I can't tell. I wasn't sure if they did, because I don't feel like they did at all yesterday, but... Yeah, they're not attacking me anymore. Okay, so they do eventually lose aggro, same as any other creature. I guess you could just go in and out of that door to reset it though if you were trying to AFK. I'm not treating these very AFK anyway with the way I'm fucking specking and selecting my targets and everything, so... Like, I'm never trying to AFK when I'll limit it locked. <laughs> Those things just don't line up. No chance we get another level today, is so That's a bit too far, I reckon. I mean, we'll get the hit points level, but we won't get another defense. There's the hit points level and the combat level. We are now up to 79. Look at this go. Death runes? I didn't know these guys could drop death runes. Just dropped me 50 death runes. That's so good. Must be really rare, but we still haven't seen the sulfur blades from these guys either. Like, these are what dropped them. We will get some eventually, I imagine, with all the trading we're planning to do here, but it is like a 1 in 512 or something, so... It's not surprising that we haven't got them yet with only 126 KC. I was just surprised to see 50 deference on the floor then. It's like a, a decent drop as well. It's not like they drop 10 rarely. It's 50 rarely. I think if I can get my defense XP down to about 12k left needed for the level, I may leave it there and go visit Miscellanea, do a little bit of herb lore just with the herbs from Miscellanea, because I don't think we'll have time to do any of the quests, and we just got another death run drop, how sick is that? See, so yeah, I'm gonna get like 4,000 more XP, I reckon. The reason I wanna get it down to 12k is because of that Olaf's quest is 12k, so it just makes sense. Need to be able to get another level tomorrow with Olaf's, and then probably get the, the last level here before attempting the bosses again. Ooh, 39 I think we just hit with a spec. It's another reason why I wanted that 60 attack aside from just for killing the bosses. Increases our XP per out here. Being a double attack weapon we don't lose any of the benefit of our two hitting sulfur blades by switching to the spec. It'd be cool if they made a way for you to upgrade sulfur blades into like a weapon with a spec. Like nothing crazy, just like a, a weaker version of the DDS spec but still better than a normal attack. I don't know, just more accurate or whatever. And you could have it as like a unique drop in the Lunar Chest, so even if it was untradeable, I wouldn't be too bad. Like, 
use this on your sulfur blades and they unlock a spec. That'd be cool. It's not gonna happen, but it'd be cool. Oh, we're under our count. I'll just kill this last one, probably. Okay, top up the prayer, grab the runes, head to the G. Because that's the only teleport we have on us. Run over here real quick, just gonna bank the runes, grab anything we have to sell. Nothing really, I don't think. Don't really need the mystics at the moment. Should I sell the mystics? Maybe I should. Hope those fucking prayer pots sell. There we go, starting to come through and I'll load them slightly. Oh, there we go, all of them. What cash are we on right now? Okay, so we got 3.7 mil. I think I'm okay with putting a fair bit of that into miscellaneous because it'll just make us more money. Get an axe, we'll get a dueling ring. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Let's pop on over there, get our percentage up and probably get a wood cutting level. There's the wood cutting level, 49. We can now boost for all offs without spending like 50k. I think I'm just gonna top this up to like 1 mil. I, I don't want to get rid of too much of my cash stack. Like it is making money still obviously, but I don't want to put too much in there. So let's just do 700k. I'll, I'll just put, I'll put 1 mil extra in. That's, that's fair, that's fair. Alright, what we got? Two days, one day worth, only one day worth. Not great, but is what it is. Okay, we'll clean what we can, and then I guess sell all this shit. I mean, I could make some of it into potions, that's the thing, but like, how much does it matter? I just can't figure out how relevant it is. I feel like there's so much shit in our bank. Some of it we could probably sell, but I just can't figure out what. Some of it's just random crap, isn't there? Alright, go do the birdhouse runs to finish out. Been a bit of a weird day. Because we didn't achieve the goal that we initially set out with. But I did say that it's completely fine if that doesn't happen. We can just top off our defense a bit. And that's what we've been doing instead. We will get to start off tomorrow with the Olaf's quest. Which will get us to 59 defense. Then we'll only need one more level to upgrade ourselves to dragon armor. In fact, I might just buy that in advance so that we can stay in Camterum. Just go to the bank when we're ready tomorrow. I'm gonna have to start just putting things down uh. Okay, well, I've got an offering for both a plate skirt and a chain body alongside the boots that I have purchased, but I don't think we can wear these yet. Yeah, 60. So we got ourselves some dragon upgrades there, at least. Hopefully they'll come through. They're not too expensive. We've still got 2.4 mil left over here. We've got seeds for tomorrow, I believe. Yeah, we got six from our seeds for tomorrow. Plenty of mahogany logs. So we're looking okay. It's been a bit of a treading water day as we worked on that defense level in the end as well as our herb law. But we did get a hit points level two and let's just look at the XP track. 65k is not bad at all. Like that's fine. We got our standard farming and hunter there. Other than that, the 14k herb law from the start of the day. 2500 attack from accidental DDS specs on attack. <laughs> 10,000 hit points and 27,000 defense XP is very nice indeed. We're making progress to get up to that 60 defense. We're going to need, what, 274k? We're on 236, but we'll be on 247. So we'll need like 30k more. We should be able to get it in like 20, 25 minutes at Sulfur Nagua after we've done the quest. Which might mean we just about get another attempt at the bosses tomorrow. We'll have to see how long it takes us to do Olaf's and that training. And how long the boss fights for the source actually take. But we gave it a go. We weren't that far away. We decided it's worth just getting some more levels. Making our life easier. And then hopefully once we've got this 60 we'll be able to smash it in one take with our dragon. Yeah. It's going to be all for this episode, y'all. I hope everyone's continuing to enjoy the series. It's been a blast, as always, even if we did die and not complete the bosses that we're planning to do. I still feel like we're good, making good progress, and that's the main thing. Let me know in the comments if you agree with my plan, though. If you think I should just be trying again to kill the bosses without the defense levels, or if you think this makes more sense and it's completely fine. Eventually, we do need the defense levels anyway, so it's not like we're training something that's not going to be useful for us. We're training something that we plan to get faster elsewhere, but 
is useful for us right now, especially. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We are climbing by the day. And it is lovely to see. I would absolutely adore getting to 500 by the end of this season. So hopefully, y'all can help me get there by hitting the button and joining the family. Don't think there's anything else to say other than look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.